far away from the people's imagination, in a white desert. 50-year-old Madhuben works the whole day under the scorching sun. She comes from the land of Agarias, who are traditionally salt farmers. A deprived and marginalized community, the Agarias have traditionally been the main salt producers of Gujarat. The little run of Kutch in Gujarat is India's largest salt field. It's a source of livelihood for more than 43,000 salt farmers who produce around 27 million tons of salt annually, amounting to 76% of India's total salt production. The salt farming activities begin from October and go on till May. Every year after the monsoon, thousands of salt farmers pack their belongings and move to this place where they set up temporary homes in close proximity to their work area. They prepare the blocks with their bare hands and feet. A major part of their work involves pumping out the brine groundwater to fill the square-shaped fields. Then they rely on the natural evaporation process to form the salt crystals. Until recently, pumping of the brine was carried out with the help of diesel-driven pump sets. The high cost of diesel would leave the workers with very little earnings and poor health. Since most of the salt workers are illiterate, the traders and private money lenders used to exploit them as well. Whatever income was in the lakh rupees of production, it was going to be $75,000 of diesel cost. तो फिर हमने सेवा ने सोचा कि हम हमको अगर ये नमक कामदार बहनों को गरीबी में से बाहर लाना है तो खर्च घटाना पड़ेगा। A CSR intervention by Yes Bank for securing livelihood has come to the aid of these women in distress. Yes Bank collaborated with Seva, an NGO working for self-employed women to facilitate loans to these women salt farmers for buying solar pumping systems through an innovative and convenient financing structure. The way we structured the finance for the salt farmers was that the savings in diesel was split into two parts. One part was used to pay the installments of the solar pumps and the second part was the savings retained by the farmers to improve their lot. However, banks were not willing to give loans to salt farmers. That is where Yes Bank came in. So what we've really done here is we've created a finance facility which is a credit enhancement, a credit affordability and a capacity building for these women to be able to address their livelihood needs, enhance their incomes, uh, their health issues as well as overall their developmental uh, challenges. With a one-time investment in sustainable energy, they could eliminate the daily recurring expenses of diesel and thereby increase their income and savings. Moreover, with this low interest loan, the installments can be paid with a fraction of money saved by not buying diesel. And no installment has to be paid during the non-working rainy season. More savings translate into improved living standards thus bringing a positive transformation in the lives of these women and their families. For Yes Bank, it's a committed mission of empowering rural women by securing their livelihood for a sustainable future.